All right, what are we doing? This morning we left uh, Kalatra Island, that's how you pronounce it. Just over there, you can see the beach on this side of it, which is really beautiful. Yeah, beautiful actually. beach. And we was anchored in the lagoons between the Kalatra Island and, well, near Faro. Um, and we left this morning on slack water, well, going out really with the water, just a bit before slack. Um, because we're doing a night, day and night sail to Rota, which is near Cadiz. Um, and it's about, I think, 80, 90 miles. So, yeah, should be nice. Got some nice winds coming this afternoon and this, e and this evening, so we should make good speed then. About 40 knots again. Yeah, probably. But we'll be prepared for that this time. Um... I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty sea dog, Come We're sailing around the world on pickle. An old catarang we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. Are we going, can we? I want to swim. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so good. We've got our light wind sail out successfully for first the time. first time, which is pretty amazing, and it's amazing. So listen. Thank you, Mark, from Motel World. You're an absolute diamond. You have done beyond measure in, in things for us to help us and guide us and advise us. And you've bent over backwards. You could have done more. And you was the one that, that managed to find and get give us this sound. So big shout out to Motel World and, and Mark and Audrey who run it because they've, they've been absolutely brilliant. And it's a Kemp Sales. Yep, so, so if Kemp Sales <laughs> want to sponsor us, yeah, that'd be nice. Bit of free advertising there for your Kemp sales. There we go. So we're doing 2.6 knots and the wind is averaging between 3 and 5 knots of wind. So in that little wind, I think that's pretty successful. Well, I don't know if it is successful. You're welcome to tell me because we've never used it before. But we're going to play around with it and see what we get. It didn't, we haven't really you know, mastered it. We, we are just learning. And we're so, welcome for comments of uh, how to... Advisory comments would be great. Yeah, yeah. For, for where that spinnaker should actually be because we're sort yeah. of a little bit... Well, Mark well, showed us when he first got it for us and brought it down to the boat for us. He's busy, but he very quickly got it out, put it up and showed us where to put our ropes. So we followed his advice and we put it everywhere. Apart think, from, apart, think, apart from it's, where he showed us. It's, it's quite a bit over the centre, which seems to be working well now, but yeah. I think but, it's know, meant to be more over the port side anyway. Well, it's a learning curve, isn't it? We're, it's the first time, we've got it up, it's successful, it's filled, we're moving, nearly three knots in three knots of wind or something. You can't moan at that, can you? So if anybody wants to tell us a bit more, because obviously we've just done this from memory from what Mark showed us, so we've probably got it wrong, but um, yeah, there we go. I was so excited, I wanted to tell you all about it. So we've got a bit of long sail ahead and maybe we could uh, vlog a bit later and tell you a bit more about it. Come on, NASA, get your products working, mate. What have we got? This is a simple one. We're sending it back out at Christmas. And this one's not working. They said something might be bearing to say they're going to test it, but as an Altas, is it this lead and sail? We've been sailing across the Bay of Biscay and all round the Med. Oh, no, not round the Med, sorry. All down Spain and Portugal towards the Med. And for us, we're just guessing the wind. Like, you know how we guess the wind? Put the rope on the you know, see how tight it is. Go, oh, yeah, it's about seven knots that. Oh, about, yeah, about 11 knots that. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
Well, we've already got a reef in because, well, them, wind, them 40 knot winds will be here before long, won't they? Like they do every single time we sail. <laughs> yeah, we're preparing in advance for them ones today. Not having none of that. But yeah, so NASA needs to come on, sort your stuff out. I'll promote you if you sponsor us. How about that? Anyway, isn't this lovely? What's that front deck? The dogs have a little walk up here. About 10 mile offshore. Yeah. We're actually just skirting down the uh, continental shelf here, so we're in about, I don't know, 200 metres, I think, out there. No more. Our, our depth yeah, thing was up. reading 220 last time I looked, it's and then it just went off, so. Yeah, I think it's maybe 300 now. It was, we were bouldering on that. Uh, over there, it's about well, 700. Well, I don't know what happened, just happened then. It said 15.3 meters. No, it's not. It won't read it. Won't read it. Then it said unreadable. That's probably a wow to swim underneath us. Sean Fish or something. Anyway, so yeah, we're just skirting down the continental shelf. I don't really want to be out there or on the continental shelf or in the deep water when it gets rough later with all them strong winds that's going to come because they always do. So yeah. We're probably about 20 miles off, aren't we? We're in the middle of that. No, we're about Bay 10 Bay mile off now. But yeah, so we'll we're going be... straight across the Bay of Kids, we'll, which we'll... alright. I did try and read up on it, but very little information about the Bay of Kids, actually. But it seems well, it's alright so far, isn't it? We'll see how it is later on. I might be able to cling on for dear life. Wishing my life away that I was in there and that, and that sheltered water to the coastal route, but we'll see, eh? Rising. Yay. So beautiful, have a look. So funny thing, we got here way too early. We were light wind sailing yesterday in the light wind and um, that went really well. And then obviously the wind picked up as predicted, but more. Um, which is good. So we uh, had a uh, dinner, full dinner, and main out, and we sailed all the way here. So all afternoon and all evening we've been sailing, but um, we've been doing so great that we got here uh, not expected, really. And then we it. So we had to slow down. Thankfully, in the very early hours, um, the wind died off. So we like just left a little bit of dinner out, a reef main and just pulled along at like three knots because we didn't want to get in the dark as, as you can see the sun just can't bother to look at it now, hang on how beautiful is that? Oh, watching the sunrise, it's just something amazing isn't it? anyway, so yeah, we pulled along hanging back because uh, we didn't want to go in in the dark certainly not going to anchor in a new place in the dark uh, and we didn't really want to go in anyway because you, know, you never know when there's going to be crab pots, do you? As it, as it happened, just as there was a light and we could see there was like a crab pot just there, just a little way off in front of us. So we were really lucky, we've, we've come in close just about the right time and we haven't been caught out. So, um, yeah, so engines are on because the wind's died to nothing now, absolutely nothing, which is okay because we're only now like a few miles after we're just going on engine. Um, yeah, so that's us, we did it in um, record speed, six or seven knots, and that was with a reef main and a reef to know of, because it's certainly not going too fast. It was, um, if we'd have carried on where we're going, then, then uh, we would have been at one o'clock in the morning, which would have been very dark, wouldn't it? As it is, we've hung it out on as slow as possible, and uh, we're here for daylight, so there we go. Probably the best hour we've had yet. It's a bit annoying that we had to like try and slow down. Who does that? It wasn't the fact I wanted time going for Gibraltar straight a very, very, very calm pig. For everybody's sake, I would have just carried on sailing probably and not coming here. But there we are. We're here. Dogs are having a good old chat. Oh, he wants to join. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, listen, listen. Feeling left out. I'm talking to you, not him. So good morning everyone, look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh my god, the camera just does not do it justice, it's shockingly bad. 
You want to see how amazingly beautiful that is by the naked eye. The cameras are so panned. That is just awesome. Uh, isn't it, Bozart? Awesome. No, huh. yeah, he thinks so at all. Wow. It's one little last look, although you won't get the idea. Will it? Wow. Sunrise over because it's. Bye. Yeah, dog's talking. Good morning, everyone. What are we doing today, Mum? We've got to walk through town to find someone who will fill up a 4.5 kilogram uh, <laughs> colour gas brutane. Brutane. Brutane, yeah. Yes. No one in Spain or Portugal will do it. So we've found this hardware store which will fill them, we think. But we've took our regulator off and taken that with us just in case it might help. Yeah. But it's a two and a half kilometre walk there and back. And I've got, I've got one of those bottles in my backpack because I can't... I can't carry them and I've got slip disc, equine syndrome and uh, severe arthritis and probably spine so carrying this is absolutely crazy to be honest but I ain't got a choice so I'm carrying a breast bottle and I'll see how bad it is on my back when it's full. Oh. This is our trek today, this is the things you have to go through, I've got pains in my legs. And what happened yesterday mum? I got stung by jellyfish. Mom, Everywhere. That's it. Some through, some through, some through I think like a cloud one maybe. There's lots of things all over you, but thankfully there was just time enough to just literally touch them just for split second, milliseconds. Yeah, and they're itchy. So we uh, scrubbed you down with bicarbonate of soda and vinegar. Yeah, vinegar's a perfect one. It hurts, but it's good. I have a jellyfish sting on my ear. Yeah, he's got one on his ear. Big swan on the ear. Yeah, that looks pretty nasty. Cloudy water off of um, Rutter Brick. Nice no, breeze. is it Rota? Rota? Yeah. Beach, anyway. It's... Um, not good, is it? But no. We didn't know there was there. There's cloudy water. So yeah, it was so cloudy, and I ran out of the water, and it hurt a lot. I haven't got a backpack anymore. I've got a pain in my leg instead. But look who has got the backpack. He's got a backpack and an empty gas bottle. But then he ain't got a sense of mind for me, so I don't really feel that guilty. I'm still limping. Didn't last very long, did I? That's right. We've crossed the road so we can walk in the shade. Yeah, this is lovely. This Red dot, isn't it? Oh my god, look at the wiring. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look at the wiring. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> I decided to have my dress, Mum. Right. Yeah. Kids, sharing the workload? Yeah. Go on, kids, you can do it. Go on. 50p an hour, I might pay you. A can of Coke. Is that it? Are you done? No, I'm not. You're not? I'm not. Go on then, keep going. Oh, careful, 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 careful. I can't have any. I don't know, maybe that's what they like the name. No, Tattoo Studio, that's English. Maybe an English person owns it. How you done then, Ben? How you done? Bo's well, got a bit further. She did at least a couple more metres. Wow, Bear, you must have done 10 metres now. Are you done? Oh. <laughs> Is he earning this can of coke? Oh, can of coke. Got to show the work. They've got a bit of child labour and that, haven't we? I'm having lemonade. Are you done? No. I think Bo's done. Bo's shot. You shot? Shopping hands. Go on, lad. You can do it. Get to where your sister is. Don't hurt yourselves, you two. I'm not smoking. Being silly. Oh, you're minute, Bear, after all this and see you want to be carried rest of the Yeah. I'm not carrying you. Put it down, let Daddy take it now. Well done. You're a bit red. Maybe. If you're good. Daddy's going to do a workout now. Go on, Daddy, you can work out as you go along since you don't need a gym. Yeah, go on, shrugs. <laughs> well, there is he. <laughs> what else can you do? Oh, I would like razors. Oh! <laughs> I could look strong, my nose. 
<laughs> See how long you can hold up for. Let's count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Is he shaking? 2, 1. <laughs> Are you hurting now? I've got a bit light. <laughs> Don't pass out. Eddie Hall, you're I'm watching this, mate. Yeah. I'm coming for you. Actually, definitely. <laughs> we all love a bit of Eddie Hall. He's a yeah. good guy. This, Eddie Hall. He's a, he's yeah. a good guy. Look. <laughs> he could probably hold it up with his little finger, that. Oh, yeah. It's like holding it up. He'd tie one of his strands of his hair with it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Hang it off his back like a bangle. Okay. Oh, Careful. Okay. Okay. Careful. That wouldn't oh, necessarily. No, it would be silly. Come on, then. Let's Come on. We found some. This is nice man. He's a, he's, he said he's a plumber, but he's got a car valeting business. He just walked us halfway through town and he's found us. He's so on lovely. Video. He's got his... video. <laughs> <laughs> the boss. Yes, every every woman's the boss. <laughs> That's Gracias. brilliant. Look. Uh, you're but welcome. Thank can, you, Simon. But look, I can push have a, you. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Right. I am I've got, here. I've got a taxi number. Number, like a phone number. Thank you. <laughs> the boss. I'm the boss. Mom. The boss. Mom. The boss of this town. He's gonna get a taxi number as well. This is a nice dog. Hello, nice dog. The he obviously smells. He obviously Come smells something we don't. Come on. Leave it. It's all. Hello. 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 No, he doesn't want to play ball, he wants to, he wants to eat it. Here, here. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Mama, you let a dog eat, a stranger's dog eat a rock. I know. I'm sure, can't we transfer that into their mother bottle? Bing! Excuse me, excuse me. He's a here. sweet. Give me, can I throw it? Drop it, drop it, I just want drop it. Drop, drop. Yeah. Hello. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Good. Say peril, apparently. It means dog in Spanish. Oh, he's so happy. Give it! Give it! Good boy. Look at that lady. She has. Good boy. And maybe, maybe we can get. Maybe we can get. Oh no, look, 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 are you sure? Yeah. You've got two handles, you get one each. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is bad. You like that. Yeah, but this fella is so nice. He's done everything for us. I, oh my god, guys, it's raining, I think. Are you right? Yeah, I've got it. It's like... No rain, off the boat. Gonna. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Rain. Rain, uh, actual yeah, rain yeah, in know, Spain. No, no, <laughs> Talk about a new friendship here, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> this is how nice the Spanish people are. Look at this. Yeah. Back to the shops, even help us carry a gas bottle. Back to the other shops so we can buy a fitting for it. Yeah, he's like the nicest fella. I think <laughs> definitely. Like yeah, definitely, 100%. Okay. Just... Taxi back, eh? You a bit tired out there, Chris? I'm all right. Should have seen him pick it up. I was going to wait to pick it up. He goes, no, 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 no. pick it up. Just took what his time out. a strong out. man. A strong man. Oh. <laughs> he looked like it were a feather. Yeah. Are you happy getting taxi back? Bear, are you happy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I won't manage all that. We just walked out with you, haven't we? With two bottles that we couldn't get full, filled. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know. He's driving on the wrong side of the road. Well, just yeah. Like Do you not notice, Bob? Got a taxi back to here. We're at the beach. Got lots of gas. We got lots of gas now. We just got to work out how we get that great big gas bottle into our locker. That should be fun. We've got a new attachment that goes on the top here. But that big bottle there, which is 12 and a half kilogram of Brutano, Brutane to us, uh, he charged me 12.54. Crazy cheap. Crazy. They, and the hardware shop, they had this little tiny like camping gas bottle, which oh, only. I had... think it was still four kilo. It might have been four kilo that bottle. I don't know. Small bottle. They would have charged me fifty quid for. Crazy money. Fifty quid plus a, the fitment. So no, thank you. He, this... didn't want, he didn't want us to buy it, did he? No, he wanted, it was con, wasn't it? It was silly. He said I didn't want us to buy it. He says no, no, no. Anyway, the guy was amazing. 
he helped us get us taxi. The taxi just dropped off. The taxi driver was really nice as well. And he charged us four euro. He you know, said four fifty on his thing, but he's really nice. And then we got back to the beach where our tender is, and the kids had a little play in the park. I think they deserve that after that long walk. And I managed to run across the supermarket, get some bread, a bottle of coke to to um, pay the kids back for the carrying the bottle for five meters, and um, some coffee for Chris because he's getting low. We won't want him running out of coffee. So yeah, been a productive day. Long walk there and a nice taxi ride back. That's not bad, is it? For four euro. Pay hey, four euro for a decent coffee, couldn't you? Yeah, I like a nice coffee. And I got to wear my nice outfit, which I love, which is new look. Nice Spanish, nice Spanish strong coffee. It's a good, cool outfit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you got nice, <coughs> I've got some nice um, Intenso, Expresso, I can't remember the make of it. Nice coffee, anyway, for him. And these cool glasses, which I'm wearing all the time. You can see these. These were given to us by Stuart from Ocean Chandler. By Stuart from Ocean Chandler, because he's so lovely. He actually, they're actually not mine, they're the children's, they've lent me theirs. So, really great Chandler called Ocean Chandler, and they ship all over the world. So, if ever you need stuff, they are really, really, really good. They couldn't have helped us more, they've been so helpful, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, and he gives, he gives the kids these glasses, but they broke my last pair of sunnies, and I literally can't go a day without them because I think it's a slip disc in my neck, I don't know. I get a lot of migraines anyway. And I have to wear sunglasses all the time, which is why I've got panda eyes. So, Bear's lent me his. Bless him. Don't really suit me, they are children's, but there we are. Right, let's get going back to the boat, eh? No one's moving. Wow. So much for going back to. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> smacked his bum, I bet that really hurt. He smacked my head. Can I sit on there with you? Yeah. Push harder. 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 You be careful. Why do you get older and sillier? What are you meant to get sensible with age? <laughs> no, I never got sensible with age either. <laughs> Why get sensible when you get stupid? I'll oh, stop you. I'll oh, stop you. I'm going to fall. I'll kick you. You're such a blunder. No, don't stop it. No. Hold on to that. Slow you down. Slow you down. Look at you trying to bounce it. You said slow down. Stopped. There we go. Should we go back to the boat? Get you some coke. And a treat. No. Coca Cola. There's Bear. Look at the, look. There he is. We carried the gas bottles down. There he is. Sat on the gas bottles waiting for us. Good lad. Hiya. And we've come back up here. We've got the tender. We tied it on up here where it was safe. Look at both And between the three of us, we're going to carry it down. I we used to drag it, didn't we? But we ripped the bottom. Yeah, it wore through the bottom. Not ripped it, it wore through it. So we've got a patch underneath this corner now. And it's leaking a little bit, so Here Chris has just mic. emptied. <laughs> you can't lift it, don't be silly. Chris has just emptied the water out, so we're just going to carry it down. And go back to the boat, which is out there somewhere. And we'll get a glass coat when we get back. And get a glass coat for being a good girl. <laughs> okay then, come on then. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always go sideways like you crab? I am a crab. Alright. Boy. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't such a far away as what's it for. Oh, is that alright in there? Yeah. It's not too heavy. No, but Mum has to sit there. I don't have to sit there at all. I sit up with Daddy. Don't be silly. Oh, I'm going to push it out a bit. It's going to be too heavy. It's going to touch down. You just got to ask him to put the thing down. Pull it out of the All loaded. Yeah, you know, it's quite a long way. What's that? What, what is that? About half a mile, I think.
argument, was I? He had to walk in, I was on, I'd be stood there arguing with the chap for about half an hour, and you'd be stressing. Can you imagine having an argument using Google Translate? That'd be hilarious. There's the boat, nearly there. Bowser, Bowser, Bowser! And there's all the Navy warships, look. Scary. After a long hot day searching down gas for cooking and heating the water, we had a nice mooch along the beach with the kids and the doggy, messed about, had fun and searched for chameleons. You would lift up rocks looking for chameleons and find scorpions. Guess what? We're in a place that's super duper good for chameleons. Super duper doop, super duper doop, super duper good for chameleons. That's the box over there. We've got the Divius Ancolite in the town. Yeah, Divius Ancolite in the town. You can see it, yeah. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, you can see it. Join us next week when we sail through the night to Gibraltar Strait. Press that like button and subscribe and if you enjoy these videos consider becoming a patron, follow the link in the description below. See you next time guys!